in this tutorial we are going to talk about the 3D sound. So let's get started. Let's go to create sound. And now I'm going to click on these little dots to get this pop up menu. Let me put this menu right here. Change the orientation. Okay. To add sound to our scene, we need to create a speaker. So let's take this loudspeaker. This loudspeaker is a representation. Let us know where the sound is going to start. But if you click render, you will see that there's nothing there. Because this is only a representation. Let me change the color of this speaker. Your sound is going to travel inside this follow. -off. Everything inside this follow -off is going to take the sound and everything outside is not going to take any sound at all. You can change the follow for one of this. You can experiment with different follow to see the results. You can also create a con for your sound using this option. Now your sound is going to travel inside this con. For this example, I'm going to use this spherical follow. Now we need a sound for our speaker, so let's add our speaker inside the timeline. Select the speaker, go to create. Add special tracks, sound. Now you have a space to add a sound file, like this. If you hit play, now we have a sound. If you can hear any sound at all, you need to go to animate and turn on play sound. Using the timeline, you can offset the wave of the sound. Using the start time, which is right here. If I move this value up and down, my wave is moving in the timeline. Let's add a second speaker to our scene. Let's add a new sound. Let's go to view inside the timeline, automatic mode, to have our new speaker. Select this new speaker, go to create, add special tracks, sound and add a new sound. Let's clean this. Go to view, show animated. Let's move this new speaker right here. Change the color to see the fall off. a little bit. Now in my scene I have two speakers and everything inside the fold of, of these speakers is going to take the sound. Now we need to record this sound. To do that we need a microphone. 
you can choose any of the microphones right here. For this example, I'm going to take stereo. Once I click the stereo, I'm going to get two. I'm going to get two microphones that I can put close to the loudspeakers. The microphones works as in real world. The closer to your speaker, the louder the sound. Now that we have our sound, we can render our 3D sound. Let's go to your timeline. Select your speakers, go to create 3D sound rendering. After you click that, you will get this pop-up menu. You need to add a path for your sound and then start rendering. Let's change the name of this one. Because I'm using a stereo, which has two separate microphones, I'm going to have two separate files. One for the microphone left and one for the microphone right. Let's see an example. Right here, I have a capsule, which is a rigid body and a wall. If I hit play, it sounds as normally. So we need to output our sound. Let's first go to create sound. And for this sample, I'm going to take stereo microphone. This stereo microphone is going to give me one file but using two different microphones so now i can take the sound for one of the speakers inside one of the microphones and the other one to the other microphone Let's now render our 3D sound. Select the speakers, 3D sound rendering, and start rendering. The next thing that we need to do is render our scene as we normally do. So it renders. We are now going to take a look at the final result. So listen carefully. Here I have my scene and my 3D sound, which as you can see has two waves, one for the left and one for the right. If I hit play, this is the final result. Again. Okay. That's how the 3D sound works. You can now experiment with any of the microphones.